morning everyone days arrived just pulled up at the starting line about 15 minutes to go so um, I'm just gonna go and get a coffee now and uh, prepare for the day so I've had bricky um, got all my gear on heart rate monitor watch headband running vest what could go wrong all right let's get so going. an absolute must before you any sort of race or starting the day at all is a coffee and this one coffee from my favorite uh, coffee shop up here in Monty and uh, it's right near the start line too so even better all right so here we go I hit start on the watch and we'll get out of here so I'm just about to cross over the 1k mark there's one thing I've learned running marathons is that screaming out at the 1k mark 41 to go very rarely gets a laugh probably because it's not funny all right so we're about six k's in we're just over six k's in and just coming up to my gym body fit monty so hopefully soon down to michaela it'll be all open again and we'll all be back in right, there so a bit over 10 k's in which means we're almost quarter of the way there and it's at this point in any marathon that well i do anyway i think i'm flying i've got this this is going to be a breeze but uh, then you hit the 25 30k mark and you realize you don't got this this is not a breeze there's nothing easy about it at all so yeah feeling good now but we'll see how that that probably will not last all righty just running past the uh emulant station ab station right now first lap done and dusted three to go this hill behind me sucks luckily i think i'll do it two more times Ugh. sun's come out it's gonna be a good day service announcement these things here quite slippery and uh especially when it's been raining and you can fall over on them but there's no video footage or any evidence of any kind so you're out of luck all right so we're halfway through and uh i'm glad that's happened on the downhill part of a very very steep part of this uh Montmorency marathon coming up uh, main road from Lower plenty so uh as you can see there just gone over the 21.1k mark still feeling pretty good start to fatigue a little bit in the legs but that's all right that's to be expected and uh hopefully it'll just be plain sailing from here so i've got a couple more crap hills to do a couple more times and yeah but feeling all right all righty wait so just got a message from felicity and kosher they're also doing an iso challenge today for walking off the wall within as uh, a heap of other people too to raise awareness about ending the stigma for mental health they're looking much fresher than i am trust me so well done kosher and flick and uh hopefully we'll have a good day and heaps of people get involved so yeah. this hill I think I'm going to do it once more. Thank God for that. All right, let's press on. Now look who decided to show up. <laughs> Hello, boys. I just got uh, met up by Will and Gus, which is a real morale booster. So, yeah, it was great to see him and uh, get a photo with him. So, on these long distance runs like that, any sort of support is great. And, uh, yeah, seeing your kids getting involved too is, uh, is quite good. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that's really lifted me a bit, which is great. So yeah, as I said before, there was a lot of people out doing, doing the ISO challenge today for walking off the wall within. So all those people out there doing that, awesome, good luck, and uh, go get them. So yeah, it's just great to be out and about. 15K to go, and I'm feeling it. This is, uh, this is the point where it starts to get tough. So just gonna push on through and hope for the best. So well over halfway, that's the way I gotta look at it. All right, day 137 of the first Montmorency Marathon. Things are getting tough. It's hard work now. And I'm most of the way through lap three. So yeah, one and a bit to go. So yeah, please make me feel better. Don't have to walk off the walk within. Very worthy organization. That's about all the words I can string together right now. Just started the final lap. Yeah, I couldn't be happier. And in our breaking news, it will come to, as a surprise to absolutely no one who lives in Monty. There is not a single piece of flat land around here. And I think I've found every hill today. So yeah, that's been fun. Let's do that hill. 
for the last time. Thank God for that. And just clicked over 32 Ks. So, less than 10 to go. And it is true what they say. A marathon is a 10K run with a 32K warm up. So yeah, this is where it really counts. Alrighty, let's crack on. It's 9K. Joined by Will on his bike. Couldn't be happier. Say hi, Will. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do this, hey, mate. We're just over 35K in. This is where, for me, it really starts to get tough. So I'm starting to have Will on board with me to a bit of encouragement. So yeah, we'll just crack on. Broken the back of this. So yeah, we'll just keep going, won't we? Yeah. We've got 38 Ks. I mean, there's four to go. The way I look at it, two to go to 40, and then there's only two to go. Easy. What do you reckon, Will? <laughs> For those of you wondering where Montmorency is, it's just up here to the left. And uh, some place called El Tam, straight ahead. I've never heard of it. Alrighty, Will, less than a K to go. We've got this. What could go wrong? 